So sunscreens can be very controversial. And there have been all sorts of findings, both last year and the year before, that really are enough to make you worried about your sunscreen. And it's downright confusing now because there's the issue of SPF. We now know that if a product has an SPF of 50, 60, 70, 100, that's for the most part is marketing. Um, and, and it's really irresponsible marketing because uh, for the most part, sunscreens do not have an SPF of above 30, maximum 40, whatever the sunscreen. I think what is a more worrying issue for me are the chemicals that have been found to be in many sunscreens. Most of the sunscreens that you'll find at your local drugstore are chemical sunscreens. Many of these chemicals have been found to be of extreme uh, concern in terms of actually promoting or causing skin cancer. So I highly recommend you stay completely away from chemical sunscreens. So then that takes us into the natural area of holistic mineral sunscreen. Now mineral sunscreen is a physical block. So it, for the most part it will be zinc oxide. Physical meaning that as soon as you put it on your skin, you're good to go in the sun. Whereas the chemical ones you have to wait for half an hour or whatever before you go in the sun. But with this physical barrier, you're safe to go right away. But there has been a lot of controversial issues, even with mineral sunscreens, because of the nanoparticles. You may have heard of this. Nanoparticles are the tiny little particles that a lot of people are very worried about. They don't think that they're safe. So with all that being said, how can we find a sunscreen that checks all of those boxes is non-nano, non-chemical, but above that, for me, is a sunscreen that performs really well. And when I say really well, I want a sunscreen that is not greasy, that does not make me look white, that absorbs really beautifully. I'm, I'm very fussy when it comes to my sunscreens because honestly, if it's not all of those, I will not wear it. And I'm lucky I can be picky because I get a lot of products sent to me. So I want to share with you a product that I think is absolutely incredible. So much so that this is definitely going to win one of my coveted awards. So it is a sun product called Sun Territy. It is a small line. It was developed by a woman whose mother died of, of melanoma actually. So she devoted her, her life passion to creating this incredible sunscreen. So it is, as I said, it is mineral, it is non-nano, so it is completely safe on all counts, but it is so much more than a sunscreen, and this is why. So these are the two products that I have that are facial products. They, there are also body products, but I'm gonna show you the facial products today. This is the basic sunscreen slash moisturizer slash primer. What I love about this, and they're all SPF 30, by the way, is that this goes on white, and then in 20 seconds, it goes completely clear. And it's quite brilliant because you, when it goes on white, you can see exactly where you're putting on it. And if you've missed any of your tiny arrows, you can see it. So very, very um, useful. But this is the product I am most passionate about, these tubes here. So, it's the Suntegrity Moisturizing Sunscreen, but actually what it is, is a BB balm. It's more like a BB balm, a blemish balm. And the reason why is that it's a lot of products all in one. So you've got the SPF 30 sunscreen, you've got a moisturizer, you've got a primer, you've got a foundation slash concealer, and you've got a, an antioxidant treatment. And I promise you, you literally have all those products in this one tube. It comes in two different shades, light and medium. My skin is definitely takes the light shade, which gives me a beautiful glow. And actually it gives me a lot more coverage than most tinted moisturizers, which I'm really happy with because I thought, oh, I'm sure it would give me the sort of coverage that a regular tinted moisturizer would, but it actually is much thicker, which I love because this is all I have to wear. If you are going out or you're a foundation girl, you really like that full coverage, it is an amazing primer on which you can put on your makeup. Um, it stays on your skin. So um, it, it, it is thick, as I say, it's, it is really like a, a BB balm if you've tried one. So it stays on nice and thick, a good 12 hour coverage. 
That being said, if you are actually going to sunbathe or if your naked face is out in the sun, reapply it every two hours for sure. Highly recommend you snap a few tubes up before they sell out.